What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for another episode of Clockwork. Could you make yourself look more sinister? My god, you might as well just put a big flashing LED sign on your back that says cultist, eh, cultist, eh. I am definitely up to no good. God, between that beard and that cloak and the way that he just kind of like hobbles over and walks like a velociraptor. Oh good, he's worshipping a blut shrine. Wait, did he turn back to normal? An anonymous report has submitted that a certain colonist put on dark robes of eldritch fashion and left the edge of the colony at dusk towards ends unknown. He later returned with an odd glazed look. Well, can I hang him? I mean, that's my initial intent, is just to hang the bastard. Brutish, gregarious, he's got a pioneering spirit. Like, I say we just kill bro. Just get rid of him right now. Just hang him. Suffocatingly sparse, he would be happier if the population was higher. He enjoys working outdoors, he's kinda well fed, could be more safe. Now that we have a lab though, we should be able to research new crops, which would be pretty cool. We can open up a few new farms, maybe back here in this little fire area. The entire forest burned down because apparently the Stalmarkians are really bad at building airships. What I've learned from this experience is that you do not get on a ship that is built by the Stalmarkians, ever. If it says Von Stalmark on the side, you'd be like, nah, I'll get the next bus, I'm good. No, thank you. It's kind of like flying on Southwest. You just kind of, you sit there and you watch out the window as the little nut turns on the wing. That happened to me. I was on a plane one time. I shit you not. I was on a plane from Sacramento to Miami. And I, I was sitting, I had a wing seat. And so I was right next to the wing. And the entire flight, you could look out the window. And on the wing, there was this nut that was on the top of the wing. And it just sat there. And it rotated counterclockwise. And I was like, oh, that's so deeply unpleasant. I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh, no. And this is the re- I hate flying. I hate flying so much. You can't make me do it. That's like, I'm actually kind of upset about the stretch goal for Roll For It, where I got to go to England, and we got to do the we do the show in person. It's going to be awful. You guys have no idea. You guys are forcing me to face my fears and my neuroses. I hate flying. I hate it so much. You know what happens when a plane hits the ground? Your aorta detaches. There's oddities. What is this? Parmelia Knott, a concerned subject of Her Majesty, has come to you expressing alarm about the odd behavior of some of her fellow colonists. It's wholly unnatural that what they got up to out there in the wild, something has got to be done. You know you can't make radical action without proof, so an investigation will be performed. Strong Tonic, make the interrogations. On the lickety splickety. So he's carrying that out, but did he get any better at his job is my question. Because a minute ago, he was not very good at his job. Oh good, it looks like he leveled up a little bit, so that's a plus. I mean, he's got a new outfit on right now, so that's good. The Investigation. Narek Strong Tonic, the NCO will perform interrogations to get to the bottom of this. Innocent colonists may be offended by the treatment. That's the price of safety from the occult ne'er-do-wells. You're damn right it is. They'll be thanking us. They will be thanking us when the weird octopus tentacles start to burst out of the ground. And because there aren't enough cultists, they just erupt into ether instead of manifesting properly. And I'll be like, see, that's why. Because we've been hanging cultists. Just all day, every day I'm hanging fools. Bip, 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 bip. Let me get a barbershop pole. I'll take you to the barbershop. I'll take a little off the top. Man, I gotta get on that Weird Al stuff. I think I could do it. I, I like parody. Parody is fun. I should do it. I should do it. Man, we murdered a lot of trees. We're doing a great job at tree murder. So how much, how much iron have we brought back with us so far? Like, how much, how much hematite are we sitting on right now? We've got nine hematite there, and one hematite there. I'm thinking we might not be as good at this. What is this? Oh my, what happened? He's responding to an alarm. What's happened over here? Who is this dead guy? The Colonial Ministry wishes to review our papers. It seems that rumors of our association with uncouth scoff law and promotion of brigandish activities are being spread by some ne'er-do-well self-styled patriot. This is all terribly inconvenient. 
We could simply allow the investigation to proceed with the knowledge that these fail to find anything about half of the time, or we could destroy all of our paperwork, which would create a great setback in our foreign office, but may ensure a failed investigation. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and burn the paperwork. So all of our diplomatic papers must be burned. There we go. Just like a true politician. Just like a true politician. Just put it all through the shredder. It's the only way we're going to make it. Just every last bit of it's got to go through the shredder. So we've got chairs in here. You need medical supplies. Sulfur tonic is low. What can we do with the laboratory over here? In the laboratory. What can we do? Also, is it possible that I can... Oh, man, I need more overseers. I need more overseers. Alright, so from the workbench here. Make like five practical beds, please. Six would work too. On this one, I would say that we should probably do like some clotheslines or something. I don't know. Wood plinths. Yeah. I mean like five wall shrines. That's fine too. So what's up with all the alien shit going on right now? And why is there a skeleton right there? Have we run out of graveyard space? I feel like we may have run out of graveyard space. The Ministry has done the best it can to investigate your misdeeds, but without a paper trail, they could not find any evidence of your dealings with the bandits. You have received a minor discommendation for record-keeping failure. You're damn right I did, because I don't give a damn. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a gangster. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a gangster. You could never put me in charge of anything. I'd be like that town mayor that was totally ballin' with like the giant diamond rings and whatnot and like the top hat and they'd be like, his salary is only 40k a year, how does he have all these things? And I'd be like, because I'm the mayor, bitch! Like, I'd just, I'd be unapologetic about it too. And be like, ah, well, maybe you should be the, maybe you should run for office. Damn, what's up with all these aliens? A dormant spore. Let's go ahead and we're gonna forbid that one right there. It looked to me like they might have come from this direction, although I don't know exactly where the meteor struck. I'm thinking the meteor must have struck, oh, somewhere over in this region. Let's go ahead and forge these buildings, though. I mean, if the bandits are all dead, I see no reason why we shouldn't take their stuff. It's kind of like when you quit an RPG. It's like when you quit an MMO. People are always like, hey, can I have your stuff? And you say no to them because you might come back. I had an ex-girlfriend that, like, lost her shit over it. Like, she got hella mad. I quit World of Warcraft, and I had probably like 120,000 gold, like 140,000 gold, because all I used to do is play the auction house all day, every day. And this was back in like the, uh, this is back in like the Cataclysm days, like the Wrath of Lich King, beginning of Wrath of Lich King, and I quit, and she was like, oh, well, give me your gold. And I was like, no, I'm gonna come back to the game someday, and we'll probably break up or something, and then you're gonna have all my gold. And I'm like, nah. See, that's what I was thinking right there. I was thinking prenup. I was on that prenup mine. I was already ready for it. We did break up. And see, she would have had all of my gold. Late in the night right now, she'd be snuggling my WoW gold and buying Meccano choppers and all kinds of shit with it. And I just can't have that. I just can't have it. It's depravity. It's not acceptable. So what happened with our investigation? Did Strong Tonic actually ever accomplish anything here? I say bring him in. Let him find out. Whoa. This guy has a mask on. Oh my god. He's gonna go worship at a cult shrine with... No! Although that is a pretty... Dude, how come everybody's turning into a cultist right now? So apparently the cultists are a sign that I'm doing a bad job as an overseer. And I feel like they're selling me out pretty quickly. How are you guys not seeing this dude right now? He's walking around in a cloak. Murder him! He's evil! Walking around like Darth Vader out here. He looks like a Sith. The cult's leader. We have identified the cult's leader, Eugenia Will, who intends to commit a cult murder. We have located the cult shrine and have a good idea of how to destroy it. We have identified the object of the cult worship, the constellation, which appears only near the black moon. Okay, so now what do we do? Are you guys going to destroy it? Like, is it a thing that you guys can do? 
So where is Eugenia Will at? Eugenia Will, where are you? Are you Eugenia Will? That's Ivor Tack Oak. Oh, he's still investigating, so maybe once he finds all the parts of the investigation we could go through. And then we can do some murder, maybe? Or at least hang the person that's guilty, I would hope. Eliminate the guilty parties and all that. Oh, Eugenia Will's right there. Oh, there's another shrine out here. So, the, as I understand it, the way this works is they keep putting candles next to the shrine. And eventually, what is this? There is clearly a cult at work in this colony. The question is, which is to be done? If we had a vicar, they might have been able to do some kind of counter ritual. Narek Strong Tonic, the NCO, proposed to eliminate the cult's leader. Narek Strong Tonic, the NCO, suggests destroying the focus of the cult's power. Hang them. If they are guilty, they must die. Narek Strong Tonic is now going to hang the cult leader. You there, heretic, prepare to be cleansed. The militia comes for you. In the name of the queen, I command you, stop. Under the edict of the queen, I found I find you bound in law. There you go. I think we need more people on this, though. We're gonna need more help for this to work. A dark stone block. It crawls in shadows. What the shit is that? Oh, no. The cult started by Eugenia Will worships the constellation, which appears only to the Black Moon in order to commit a cult murder, channeled the Eldritch Power to get a minor manifestation. Narek Strontonic failed to enact frontier justice against the leader. Allowing them to personally direct the dark rituals. No, he's chasing her around right now with a gun. Kill her. Kill the heretic. Burn her. Justice is served. The death of an overseer harms our relations with the ministry and has decreased by five. It is now one. Ceramics Workshop needs a new overseer because the previous one met an end. A terrible release of eldritch energies is occurring at the shrines. What's being summoned forth? That could definitely be problematic. What are the people from Stalmark doing here? Apparently being chased by a rhinoceros beetle. So German people, be aware that if you come here, you will get chased by rhinoceros beetles, and it's not our fault. So hopefully it doesn't hurt our diplomatic relations because we didn't we don't mean it. Let's see. Perennial enemies Shiloh Uxter and Parmelia not have gotten into a particularly intense argument. Their shouting can be heard throughout the entire colony. Your manner of dress is more smelly than my niece. But I don't feel bad, at least you have your disgusting foot. Their constant shouting is irritating the other colonists. And you've been asked to intervene. How will you handle it? Uh, yeah. NCO, go smack the shit out of them. Tell them to silence themselves. And to conduct themselves accordingly, lest they be beat further. Why are you shooting a gun in the house, man? Those are some of those things I don't think that's ever acceptable in polite company. Why are you shooting guns in the house? Let's see, we got a chemistry workbench. Fourteen out of sixteen with a couple of laborers mixed in. Okay. We'll sort it out. Are there more bodies to be buried, or did they just run out of space here? She still has a health left. <laughs> Her job is being dead. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it just is. It makes me laugh. It makes me happy. <laughs> it's funny. That's really, really funny. Can I dezone this over here? Because this one seems like it's kind of like in the way.
I don't think that works either. I guess we'll just have like a big graveyard over here, but it's slightly offset. Sorry, OCD people. I apologize for that. It's not my fault. Okay, it is my fault, but you get what I... No, not practical cabinets. I made that mistake already. Simple cabinets. Make like five of them. Thank you. So as far as stuff goes for the laboratory, what can we make for the laboratory? Let's find out. So inside of our laboratory, we can make macroscopes. That's metalworks, metalworks. A chalkboard can be done, used for scientific research. So a box chalkboard can be made over there, okay. An upper class rug, a barometer, an ornate cabinet. Well then, let's see if we can make ourselves with our workshop bench. If we can make a chalkboard, that'd be cool. Yeah, make two of them. Throw two chalkboards in here so we can start doing research and getting some new crops and stuff. That'll be funsies. I wonder if the cult just like falls apart once we murder all the leaders. Or how did that play out? Because we haven't heard anything about the cult ever since we murdered people. It just seems like that was the right choice. Sometimes you got a beatings doled. Well, not an especially orthodox technique for resolving interpersonal problems. Your decision to have NCO Neric Strong Tonic administer beatings pays off surprisingly well in the form of their neighbors, who are all too pleased to see some punishment doled out. This hasn't ended their rivalry, but the disruption is over for now. Spiritually inclined colonists led by Albertine Thatch have been complaining about the lack of a place to worship recently. They request that this problem be solved with the prompt construction of a chapel. Yeah, let's build a chapel. Where's the chapel at? Is it foreign outreach? We got a foreign office, a barracks, workshops, frontier exploration, public services. Ah, I need lacquered planks for that though, and then we also need workplace. Is he a cultist too? Why are my military guys chasing him around? Maybe the beating you get shot around here, that's what happens. So why are they murdering Shiloh Uxter? I thought they were just going to give him a beating. Now they're murdering him. You guys are taking this a bit far. I said give him a... I said give him a nice trouncing. I didn't say shoot him to death with guns. Those are two very, very different surfing... So he died to mob justice. The death of an overseer harms our relations. Standing with the Empire has decreased by five. An overseer is now needed for the mines. Alright. We'll, we'll get on it in just a minute. I don't know why they're shooting him to death. Maybe because he was also a cultist. We've got Parmelia not. We'll put Sadie Uxter on it. And I assume that that means that we've got Worker Pool that's been cleared up. Okay. So the mine's doing its thing. They've got no assignment over here. Barbershop's fine. Naturalist office is what it is. I think... I'll just keep fleshing out all of our general purpose people. Justice is served and an overseer is needed. Hopefully we can actually smooth this over though with the Republic soon. We're getting ourselves into trouble. But cultists need to be expunged. How come they don't understand? How come they don't understand? Sometimes we have to kill sometimes we have to kill an overseer. I can't help that we're filled with heresy out here. I can't help that. It's not my fault. Um I think it'd be okay if we put in like a couple more middle class houses. All that is required for evil to win is for me to stop murdering my citizens and give them due process. That's all that it takes. But that would be depravity. We can't we can't just allow them to win like this. This is the queen's territory. Remember that. We represent a powerful entity right now. She's mostly a figurehead anymore. You know, there are some family issues and disputes and stuff like that, but we're we're doing the best we can to make it work. those in right there. I don't even know how many of those I have. I assume that we have some. I'm trying to get more overseer space so that the next time we take in immigrants I can have people to assign to these various locations. If we're done with our chalkboard too, and indeed I think we are. Oh wow that chalkboard's pretty big. Okay. Looks good to me. We'll also assign somebody over here 
Is anybody actually good at science? We've got Albertine Thatch, who's working in the cook shop. Carpentry. Ah. Henry Cooper appears to have a... Or Ivor Tack Oak appears to be pretty good at science. Okay, we're not using the barber shop anyways. At least one scientific module is required. Scientific materials are required made in the ceramics workshop. Okay. So inside the ceramics workshop, do we have anybody who's decent at anything? How come Parmelia not is not doing anything right now? Like, wasn't she supposed to be farming? Parmelia not, Henry Cooper. Z unfortunate, okay. The unfortunate one. I think we've got somebody left over right now. Mine, construct building. Barracks farming, naturalist foreign office. Go ahead and give me Pearl Lagger over here, please. What is the Eldritch time? Ah, oh, that doesn't sound good. The head of our carpentry workshop has gone evil, too. This is problematic. We have a lot of cultists. We may need to build a church or something. Unfortunately, I can't do that until I have more... Ooh. We have it now. Well, that's good. So I should probably work on that then. So what was I looking for? We got laboratory over here. I was looking for... Ceramics workshop definitely doesn't need that many workers. We need one in there, and that should be fine. Strong Tonic is still doing his thing. We'll sign the extra one to a farm, I guess. And then what we'll do is we'll go back through, and now we can actually afford to make our chapel. We need lacquered planks, though. And that's in the chemical workshop. Shit! It's always something that I don't have, isn't it? It's always something that I don't have. Then here, we'll have that maintain. Always have a minimum of 50 bricks. There. So that should go pretty quickly. We're out of time for the day. It will be interesting to see how our colony begins to fall apart after this point. Because things definitely seem to be going wrong. I will see you all in the next episode of Clockwork Empires. Bye, everybody.